Well, let's chat about what to expect when you bring your new dog home. Let's start with puppies, right? It's a big deal for a puppy. It's the first time they've been away from mum and all their little litter mates, so it's a bit weird, frankly. Um, and as nice as you probably think you are, he doesn't think that to start with, he or she. So the best thing you can do is make the journey as easy as you can. If possible, take somebody with you. So the puppy could be sat with them in the car, back seat, you know, keep it all safe. But with somebody, a bit of warmth helps, because remember, they're not used to being on their own without the body heat from other little animals around. When you get back, give them a chance to check out the environment, let them mooch about, have a little look around. Now remember, if you're getting a puppy at 8 weeks, 12 weeks, the typical sort of age, they're not going to be able to, to, uh, to, to hold it in terms of toilet training, so you're going to have to take them out quite a bit. Um, I would take them out at least once an hour, but show them around the place, you know, show them, look there's a garden, there's a kitchen, let them, let them do their thing. If the breeder gave you uh, an item of, uh, of the bedding, perhaps from where they came from or something like that, something that's got the smell of home, that's brilliant because you can put that in a bed and hopefully they'll be tired and just snuggle down. So if it looks like they're gonna go to sleep, let them sleep. Just, just you know, let them have a little settling down time. Your first night, frankly, well, you're probably going to lose some sleep. You might be lucky. You might get through the night. It's a bit like babies. You never know. Um, but you should bargain on losing a bit of sleep. They will settle in the end if you leave them to it. It's, it's a bit like babies, isn't it, Paddy? Eh? It's, it's been watered, been fed, uh, <laughs> been out and been emptied. Not so much change a nappy, of course, unless you're particularly weird with your puppy. And then just leave them to it. Let them settle down. So quite different if you've got an adult dog who perhaps is a rehome dog. The big deal there is um, they just don't understand where home is. I, I need to run around this place, I need to escape uh, and find out where home is compared to this. Now in the case of my dog Lily, she'd have been running down the M40. So make sure that they can't um, escape but just give them a chance to, to settle down. A thing you can't do with puppies is over exercise them, really important that. With a rescue dog though, assuming they're a bit older, a great thing you can do before you get them into the house is give them lots of exercise. With Lily, as soon as I got her, I got her in the Land Rover, two miles down the road I'd spotted a sort of common area, so I got her out, give her, a, give her a, a good old walk around with the lead, he's gonna leave us but that's why we'll carry on talking. And she was tired out, by the time she got back to the house, absolutely zonked so she was going to settle down and that really is the key it's it's allowing them to be calm and and just settle down and chill out a little bit you know um, loads and loads and loads of positive experiences so if we're talking puppies or rehome dogs that introduction back to home has got to be as positive as you can make it that that's the overriding thing